Hello, my name is Eysten Botsvik and this is my online academy. What we just heard was a few clips from Chardas Vittorio Monti on my YouTube channel. This is by far the most viewed video on my channel with over two and a half million views. And I think part of the reason it's so popular is that people love to see an instrument they think is big, slow and clumsy play something that is really agile, fast and virtuosic. What most people don't realize though is that it's not that difficult or it's equally difficult on the tuba as it is on the violin. What you need is a little bit of knowledge and tips about how to do it, how to practice it, how to overcome those most difficult places and some practicing. So let's get to it. Before we start, I want to mention that I play this piece in C minor. It just fits the E flat tuba better. The original key is D minor and that fits F tuba a lot better. So choose your version in the PDF section above. First part of this is really romantic singing and uh, slow. It should be with a lot of passion and espressivo. <laughs> And here I try to keep the energy going all the way to the part I just stopped. So not too many diminuendos before you go to the next phrase. So not too much. Try to keep it going like this. Gives a lot more flow and direction to the whole phrase. Uh, technically I'm adding a little bit of um, vibrato and this is of course totally optional. If you feel comfortable doing vibrato just go ahead and add it. It gives a more of an authentic uh, gypsy feel to the expression. If you don't feel comfortable either practice vibrato separately until you become comfortable or just leave it out for now. I have a tutorial on vibrato in my uh, academy. But as a short explanation you just move your jaw up and down and you want to move it up and down in a constant speed. So don't vary the speed, just go up and down like four to five times per second. Then I do some glissandos, listen to this. This is to mimic violin again. They often use uh, glissandi in these passages. And the way I do it, I don't use the valves, I just do a little drop with the lips or the jaw. So I'm just releasing some of the pressure. This again is totally optional, but it adds a little bit of uh, over the top feeling to this piece. By the way, I got to mention that don't take this piece too seriously. It is a show-off piece and it needs to be kind of out there. Um, if you try to play too academically correct, it's not going to be a lot of fun to listen to. All right, next section. You notice that I'm doing at the end of each of these phrases a little bit of kind of a staccato, very clear and steady rhythm. And this is to contrast against this more singing part in the beginning. Contrast is always good and the way I think is that this romantic part is very sweet. 
and it's a little bit comparable to a banana split. If you had a banana split, it's a plate with a split banana, ice cream, a lot of whipped cream, chocolate sauce, maybe some uh, strawberry jam. Very, very sweet. And in order to make it more enjoyable, the chef normally puts a little cookie on the top or a, a crisp uh, cracker or something that makes a contrast to the sweetness. And that's exactly what we do here. See if you can spot it. And there comes this contrast. Now we get to the arpeggios, which is forte. And in this forte section, I think almost like some strong guy showing off against other strong guys to impress on a girl that is watching the whole spectacle. So it's like, all right, I am really strong. So that low B flat there has to be very powerful and steady. Not only am I strong, but I'm agile too. And that's where the six doublet comes in. And you can play that with two, 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 ku. So two, 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 ku, two, like this. And that will give it a little bit of an accelerando at the end, showing off even more your agility. So practice that two, 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 ku, two, 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 ku, two, 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 like this. Same thing on the next one. Very steady and uh, reliable at that point. And then comes a subito pianissimo. And this is almost like the guy that is showing off also tells the woman that he's a very sensitive and listening person with a lot of like withheld passion as well. It really, really is a story, this piece. And then comes a kind of a, um, what can you say, a recitativo. And I like to keep this without diminuendo. It kind of emphasizes the energy of this passage. And at this point, the accompaniment replies, kind of, dee da da dee da da dee. Almost like nodding and say, yes, that's right, like this. So um, here, you are a little bit freer in rhythm. And again, try to emphasize with uh, with vibrato here. And again, I use a little bit of uh, glissando there. But this is again optional. And this needs to be quite quick, so move your fingers very accurately. And then you do the pickup, the orchestra comes in on the downbeat. Again, we're into the cracker, breaking up from the sweetness that has been. Okay, and use your elbow a little bit there if you play with the piano or even for the conductor of the band that'll help him come in at the right spot. So. And now to the fast part. <laughs> 